Hello everyone and welcome to Castaways SMP, a server where a group of women have been shipwrecked on a cluster of islands with no way out. Until this week. Believe it or not, we now have a boat, but you'll just have to see for yourself how everything played out. Remember to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into it. Today, we are going to be wearing the headphones, so feel free to comment down below of what hat I should wear in the next episode. In last episode, we built this beautiful museum, of course, and inside, I went ahead and added some little signs and item frames so that the girls can come and donate their items. And I mentioned wanting to send letters so that everyone knows that the museum is open and they are welcome to come and donate something. So we're going to go around to everyone's island and drop off a little letter. Every time I come here, the birds just get worse and worse. Oh my gosh. Our first stop will be Sev's Island, so we'll go ahead and make a little mailbox. And this is our letter. It says, Museum now open, located on Sparkles Island. Donations welcome. So we'll just go ahead and place that on everyone's island. Next, we have Red's Island, Drift's Island, Brooks Island, Madison's Island, Amber's Island. Also over here is the hat shop. So if you see a hat that you like here better, then let me know and I can buy one here for next episode. This heart one is super cute. The apple is cute as well. Oh, the book. There's so many options. So honestly, I kind of want to buy one here for next episode. Shopping on the islands is just so much fun. But we just have two more islands to go. So this is Frog's Island. And then lastly, Nash's Island. Honestly, sending out all of those letters took a long time, a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. But now I would like to do a bit of cleaning up of our island because the girls are going to come over and we're going to have a little party over at the Tiki Bar. And right now we just have a lot of mess around. So it's tidy time. First things first, we'll chop down all of these trees from our museum build. I love this bee's nest here because we didn't have silk touch, but we have it now. So I do want to go ahead and move it from here and then we'll place it somewhere else later. And then get rid of this birch tree too because it's the only birch tree around here and it just doesn't really match. Our heads were fun for a little bit, but they are a little bit tacky if I'm being completely honest. So let's clean this up. We have a display for the heads anyways. We don't need them just sprinkled around on the ground. We don't really need this wheat because Brooke does have a grocery store. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this little wheat field. I just don't feel like our island fits the farm vibe. So I just don't really want any farmland over here. Maybe we can move this campfire somewhere else so it's not just over here by itself. Maybe it can kind of be like a little beach bonfire. These pens are starting to feel pretty old. So let's get rid of these. And then I do think that our island has too many chickens. So let's start to clear out some of the chickens. Like this is just too many chickens. Sorry, not sorry. And then there are eggs everywhere. I'm constantly picking up eggs. It's just kind of annoying. I do think that I want to add a little path connecting to our path over there by the work area. And then we can get in here and texture it with some coarse dirt. And also you can put regular dirt inside of the botanist workbench and get lots of different kinds. So I do have this weathered dirt, but maybe I want to try some cobble dirt. What do we think about this block? Yes, I like that a lot actually. Looking pretty good so far with all of the dirt sprinkled in, but I always see the girls have these cool ropes around their paths on their islands, and I definitely want to do that same thing on my island. And I honestly don't really know exactly how to make them, but we're going to try to figure it out together. So I think if we take our handy dandy little cutting board here and place the rice on it and cut it, okay, we get straw. And I think from there we can make rope. So let me go ahead and just cut up all of this rice. And then how do we craft the rope? Okay, we just need three straw in a row like this. And then we'll get three rope. And I'm pretty sure from here, 
we can just place it down and it looks so cool. But that is literally all the rope that I can make. So maybe we can go over to Brooke's grocery store and see if she has any more rice and then we can place a rope everywhere. I know that Brooke really likes calcite. So let's grab a stack of that and see how much rice we can get. See, look how cool this is. I just want my base to look as pretty as reds. Looks like she only has 17 rice. So we'll give her like 16 calcite, but hopefully we can do a little bit with that. And maybe I should put this actually in the donation box right here. Now let's go ahead and chop up the rice. And we can kind of just place little bits of rope around like this and like this. As soon as Brooke restocks more rice, I will definitely buy it all because I love these little ropes so much. And lastly, we just need to sprinkle around a few more things. huge improvement that this pathway made to this area over here. I think it looks so much better. So of course we have lots of bushes and texturing. I added these stripped oak logs with some lanterns around. I bone mealed a bunch so we have lots of grass here. And then I added just a few oak trees and this one actually grew a little bee nest. Again, we literally have so many bee nests now. But then I also just place some lanterns on some of the bigger trees just so that we have a little bit more lighting over here. I added this giant apple tree here and this space is just looking so much better and I'm so, so happy with it. Don't ask me how I got this parrot head. Honestly, I have no idea. I just looked in my inventory and it was there and I have no idea how I got there. Now to finish the final preparations for our tiki board party, we're going to need some drinks. And unfortunately we have yet to find any ice so we can't make cocktails, but we do have seawater. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up all of these bottles with seawater. Definitely not ideal, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And I am going to go ahead and put on my best beachy hat for this little tiki bar party. We will put the headphones right back on after the party is over. So now everything is pretty much ready to go and we just have to wait for everyone to arrive. Sparkle, hit me with, hit me with a drink. Well, I've got some seawater. Unfortunately, that's kind of all we have oh. here. Oh. Yeah. No, Wait, yeah. Purified? We have you yet. Gladys? No, it's just salty, salty water. Uh, so I'm sorry. I'm not gonna drink that. I actually have uh, my. Here, I'll, I'll still drink it. Oh, yeah. I'll still drink it. Can I have the frog salted out? Hey, wait, yeah. guys, what is that oh, in the water you. over there? Oh, oh. is that a oh. human? Is a person? What? Yeah, what? there's someone on a boat. What? Hi. Who are Hi. you? Hi. Hi, um, I'm Allie. Hi. Hi. Do you want to come up? Come up here. That's yeah. a boat. Guys, it's a boat. Where, where did you come from? Um, well, I was trying to find my deserted island getaway package. It was those two little raccoon guys, and I got really lost. And when did we all become squares? Um, what? Uh, that sounds what? like a different uh, game. I I don't know yeah. what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, wait. Where, where am I? Don't really talk. Messed up. Is this Animal Crossing? No. No. What? Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm so lost. I'm in the wrong game entirely. How did I get here? How did you guys get here? We've, We've been here for always, a while. I, I was born here. You were born here? Well, not on this island, but I was born as a square oh. pixel. Oh, I, I I was not. I had balls for hands and I had... You had balls for hands? How does that bouncy, bouncy even work? Balls? How do you pick anything up? What? Uh, I just kind of do it. Oh, okay. Is this person okay? I don't, no, I don't know. clearly. Maybe she's been at sea too long. Wait, yeah. guys, 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 guys. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Her boat? <gasps> yeah, she doesn't wait, need it. She's wait, can you me. make boats? Um, yeah, can you make a boat? I can try. I don't have any material materials. I used all of mine to make my boat. Um, I just tried the same recipe I did before, and it's not working. Oh. 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 Well, I guess this place is cursed. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can use my boat. I have my little really? weenies on my back. Yes. Oh. Where would I get? 
We've been please, stuck yeah. here for so long. Please. Yeah. And so Allie tries to find her way back to Animal Crossing, and we decide to hold a little meeting to discuss our plans for the newfound boat. All right, so, um, guys, it's uh, been like a couple days, and we still haven't really figured out what we're going to do with that boat. Yeah, I mean, only two people can fit in it, which is kind of a problem. I mean, I oh. think at the very least, we need some sort of help to get more, like, resources and to be able to have a way in and out if we need it what if we take turns using the boat and we can see if we can find help or more stuff and bring it back to each other yeah i've actually been wanting to find some ice somewhere so maybe i can find ice on a different island or something Ooh, okay okay. yeah i'm so down i want to make ice cream and cocktails so bad i don't want to drink seawater anymore Oh, no more seawater. No is more seawater. It was yeah. kind of gross. So true. It was then decided that I would venture off of the islands first in search of ice. And Jerved mentioned wanting to possibly find some mangrove. So I decided to drag her along on this little adventure. Hi, Jerved. Hi. What's going on? Um, I was wondering if you wanted to go on a little adventure with me. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, I've got to be honest. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of what's out there. But, I mean, also, I'm kind of curious. I am getting a little bit stir-crazy around my base. I am a little bit bored, but as long as you you swear to protect me, I will go. I will protect you. I promise. And also, can I drive? Because this boat looks kind of cool. Yeah, go for it. I have no idea how to drive it, so I'm down. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do go. it. I'm so excited to get off these islands, even though that I do enjoy my time here. I am excited to just explore something new. Honestly, same. I mean, like, it's beautiful here, but, like, it's just it's just been getting to me lately, seeing the same thing over and over. And you know what? Like, the DVDs that Frog Crafting has, we've watched them all, like, three times already. Yeah, it is. Hopefully we can find something out here that is, I don't know, a little bit different, a little bit more entertaining. Oh, absolutely. What if, what if we find, like, you know, like, pickleball or something? things to play pickleball with yeah that would, be, so that would cool. be cool maybe we'll find other people oh yeah i guess people too i was thinking more in the terms of pickleball but people would be cool too <laughs> i see way. land oh <gasps> you do yeah oh my gosh we're doing it it's happening oh wait there's a village there what are the? people should we should we see them should we check them out maybe wow um i'm i'm nervous for this do do i look okay do i look cool do i smell okay do you think they're gonna like me? Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know about the smell, but I think you look cool. Okay, okay. First impression. Good first impression. Um, I don't see any people. <gasps> there's somebody here. There's a person? There's there's people here. Oh! Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my gosh. Hello, people. I don't think that you need to worry about your outfit, honestly. Honestly, yeah, these... These guys, uh, they don't have the best fashion sense. Yeah. They're honestly. all just staring at us and not saying anything. What what is up with that? Just making weird noises. Yeah, I don't I don't like the vibe here. I don't like the vibe. There's a cat! Oh, <gasps> there's cats! There's a cat! Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to bring him home somehow. <gasps> Whoa, what's that? Why why does it look so cold <gasps> oh, over wait. there? Wait! Ice? Is that ice? Yeah. It looks like it. Do you want to go check it out? Yes. Listen, I have been overheating on that island. It gets really hot. So you know what? Ice? That's awesome. And then we will be able to make ice cream and cocktails. I was able to gather lots of ice and drift in and found some regular spruce trees. There's spruce trees. There's regular spruce trees. Whoa. I'm grabbing these. Okay. <laughs> All right. Should we see what else is around here? Yes, we shall. Goodbye, people. Goodbye, stinkies. Honestly, I don't think that we were missing much. I don't think so. It doesn't seem... None of this terrain feels familiar. I think we're still really, really far from home. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, those people are really weird. Yeah, I, they just gave me bad vibes, you know? I might take their cat, though. No, definitely. I don't think they need a cat. No, we're so mean. <laughs> 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 just like actually so rude <laughs> oh what is this i can see a lot of things but mostly i see your head but of what i can see this is beautiful oh so pretty here just like just peek over my shoulder there we go yeah I'm going sideways oh my goodness that's so pretty <gasps> oh this is so magical why why don't i live here for real so many glow berries and spore blossoms this is an oasis. Oh, oh, 
sea pickles. Hold on a second. <gasps> oh no, I want those too. Wait, so cool. What the heck? I know, I, I want them for my aquarium. Oh, there's lots over there. You can grab them. Ooh, look at all those flowers over there. I don't know if you can see Whoa. them. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, well, we got a post up here for the Whoa. night, so let's, uh, let's check that out. Uh, I'm at this crazy structure over here. Very colorful, but I think I'll stay away and just grab some flowers instead. Yeah, I think I, I, I think it's best we avoid this. Yeah, I, don't I think have... that looks very friendly. I agree. I have no interest in checking it out. These look like candy. I love it. I know. Imagine a flower field like this, like back on our islands. Oh, that would look so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am done picking flowers. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Sorry, just got a little distracted. Oh my gosh, that's massive. Yeah, we're we're not going near that. Let's let's keep going this way. I agree. Ooh, mangrove. Whoa. <gasps> oh, we should definitely bring some of this back. <gasps> Check these out. Oh, cute. They're little like cattails. cattails. What are these guys? What are these? What? Little cacti. There's more over there too. Or cacti. <gasps> oh, I love these. Uh, oh, there's a little right? frog. <gasps> cute. Oh, oh look at the frog guy. What is up, homie? So cute. You can actually make it cactus ice cream. <gasps> so I think really? I'm going to take some cactus. Absolutely. I, for some reason, I feel like that would be very refreshing. For real. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I mean, if anything, this boating adventure has actually made me lose even more hope that we will ever be rescued because there's <laughs> literally nothing out here. Oh, but there is an alligator. Oh my gosh. Do you he's think, growling. Do you think he's mean? I don't think so. Oh, oh. he's friendly. Oh, hello. Hi. I wish I could bring him home with us. Honestly, should have brought a lead. We could have dragged him back. For real, I would have just <laughs> named him like Ali. Actually, no, I'm not even going to try to put him in a boat. That makes no sense. Then one of us would be stranded. I'm sorry, homie. Maybe one day I'll come back for you. With our new goodies, we then ventured back on home. Alrighty, here's your uh, your stop right here. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. I hope that you got a little braver on this trip. I did. You know what? I really, really did. There is a zombie behind you. I'm terrified. Oh um, I will help you. I'm not going to leave. I Now that I'm brave, I will not leave. I promise. Okay. There you that go. That scared me so bad. Okay, I better go to sleep. Yeah, I better return this boat. Oh, I just killed the parrot. I saw it. I'm just going to I'm just going to boat away now. Okay, bye. 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 Honestly, it was so refreshing getting off of our little island, but I am very happy to be back and we got so many goodies. I know a lot of people were saying that I could add some sea pickles to the aquarium and I think that is a lovely idea. So let me go ahead and just bone meal a few more. Also, Brooke did donate something to the museum. She donated this little pumpkin soup, and honestly, that looks so tasty. Oh, and we have something from Red and Sam. Oh, this is so cute. I love this so much. Oh, wait, even more. Oh, I noticed you had heads upstairs. Here's another. Oh, I love this. Okay, we'll add the head to our collection of heads. How exciting. Wow, look at the new addition to our head collection. Anyways, getting on to what we actually came down here for, we need to add sea pickles to our aquarium. That way we can add a life source down here and also just add a little bit more variety. I think that looks so much better in there. Now, to begin building that ice cream stand that I was telling it Drift about. We're going to need to make a couple of mini fridges. I'm thinking three. Some tiki chairs so that people can sit. I want to build with just a little bit of mud bricks, so we'll need to make some mud. And then we will turn this into packed mud. The last thing that I need to get is a little bit of wool. So we need to go on over to Sev's wool shop. And I figured that maybe she would like some cattails. Thank goodness she does have a little bit of light blue wool. So we'll give some cattails in return. Now I was thinking about building the ice cream shop here on the main island because it does get a lot of traffic with the enchanting setup and also the wool shop. So maybe we can build it right here. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get busy building this little ice cream shop. Look how cute 
loved our little ice cream stand turnout. I'm so happy with it. And I even made a little eating area over here by the water. Just look how pretty it is. I do need to get some glow ink sacks so that we can make these signs glow. But for now, you're just going to have to look very, very closely to see that it says ice cream for sale. And it even has little snowflakes on it. How cute. But now it is a finally time to be making ice cream. I've literally been talking about this since episode one, but we can't make very many things right now because we don't have too much ingredients, but we can go ahead and make our very first popsicle, a little coconut popsicle. And I figured that we could place some ice cream on these item frames here to show what we have for sale. Another thing that we can make is cactus ice cream. Maybe we'll have to make a cactus farm so that we can stock plenty of the cactus popsicle. And some other things that we can make is this melon one and then also a little sweet berry ice cream and chocolate. So I will have to work on getting all of these ingredients together so that we can sell even more kinds of ice cream. But for now, let's go ahead and start stocking the ice cream stand. Those coconuts throw so far. For now, Oh, I guess we'll just put the ice cream here inside of this chest and maybe we can make a little sign here saying more flavors coming soon. We'll put the rest of the ice and ice cream ingredients here in these barrels on the floor. And I did take a little bit more wool from Sev, so we'll go ahead and give her a free ice cream. I can't believe we've been anticipating this moment for so long and it's finally here. Wait, I should probably eat one, shouldn't I? I'm not hungry yet, but let's do some running and jumping around and then we'll eat ice cream. Okay, very exciting moment. Oh, it feels like two hunger things. Maybe it even feels more, I'm not sure. Well, with that, I think that I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope that you have enjoyed it. We have made so much progress here on this island in this one episode with us getting the boat, of course, and then working on our little ice cream stand. Don't forget to let me know which hat I should pick in the next episode. And remember, I kind of want to pick one that's inside of the hat shop. But if you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe. I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.